Well, there's something going on in the state of Florida. We have an update. Florida State to discuss around a $300 million stadium renovation, possibly including some type of roof. A board of trustees agenda also has a rendering, and, and you can see the rendering, kind of a very simplistic design. It does look like one of those European soccer style designs, and that is the whole idea of many of these stadiums in Florida choosing to go this route, putting some type of roof, some type of massive overhang onto it. This would be around a $300 million renovation, and it would be super unique when it comes to college football stadium renovations. We got the news Earlier this summer in July that the University of Florida was planning a big-time $450 million renovation to their stadium, and they certainly need it. The Swamp is a a very nice stadium in terms of historical value, but it is certainly in need of a tune-up, and we'll have to see if they consider maybe one of those European-style overhangs. This is coming after we got the announcement that the Jacksonville Jaguars, the NFL team, was going to be possibly installing a translucent roof in 2026 as part of a $2 billion stadium renovation. And then we also have the potential stadium renovation to Camping World Stadium that will be very similar to what I think Florida State would do in terms of the big overhang. It's not a retractable roof, but it is a structure that covers basically all of the fans from the sun rays, especially with Florida being very humid in September, even going into October, that is when it would be mainly utilized. The big issue with that, there's trouble in terms of it letting in natural light a little bit, as well as some crazy, you'll get crazy shadows because of the way the roof is angled and the overhang looks. Florida State will discuss approving up to $255 million in debt for major renovations to Doit Campbell Stadium. The agenda includes an information item allowing the Seminoles' direct support organization to borrow the funds to make significant renovations to the west side and south end zone of the football stadium. The proposal would remove 27,000 seats on the west side and add back 16,000 seats. The work includes new club seating and a kitchen, plus suites, lounges, upgrades, to the overall infrastructure. The stadium's current capacity is just under 80K, so it looks like, at least according to what they're saying, they're going to remove a total of 11,000 seats, but I'm guessing what they'll do is they will add possibly a bunch of standing room spaces, so the capacity probably won't drop too much. Florida State right now in the midst of that whole battle trying to get out of the ACC. They didn't want those three teams to join SMU, Cal, and Stanford. They end up coming into the league, and now the thought process is as Florida State is enjoying a massive week one victory over LSU and people are predicting them possibly to make the playoff or go to the national title. Uh, you know, they are trying to get out of the ACC and they're also looking at a big time stadium renovation. The unique thing with this is it might have a European style overhang or roof there. So we'll have to follow it again. Just looking at this, you know, it's th- th- these are not finished renderings or anything like that. But to be honest, that does look pretty cheap. I I, I just think that that's maybe a gauge. That's not how it's going to look because I get a vibe of like the Metrodome from that style that they're using there. That's not something you're going to want to use when it comes to the actual final product. They've also got renderings for their new practice fields and athletic space. Kind of a unique design there with the brick. Like the brick right next to the stadium. The contrast of that is pretty strange, but I like the traditional design when it comes to that. And then we've just got some other random things. I like looking over this stuff. So it is funny with Colorado now, you know, getting all the hype, $400 tickets. Imagine, this is the best investment you could have made within the past year and our current economy and how bad it is. The best investment was investing in Colorado season tickets right after they went 1-11 and and before they hired Deion Sanders. How much would, would season tickets have cost? I saw some people upcharging like for really nice lower bowl tickets at Folsom Field around $4,000. Those will never sell, but it is hilarious to see. Another thing about this game that no one else is mentioning, I mean, this game's at 10 a.m., folks. And, and you know why that that's because? It's because of Big Noon. 
I just think Big Noon is so horrible for college football. It's just so fake. And, and then, of course, the whole idea, and it's they think we're so dumb in the offseason, they try and swing it. Oh, we're going to, you know, we're, we're not going to stop the clock on first down. We're going to go to be professional NFL rules. It's going to limit the time. There's going to be no more four-hour games. And, of course, the first big noon game is like four and a half hours, and they're really trying to cash in on the Deion Sanders hype. Now they've got back-to-back -back big noon games with Colorado. We've got Donald Trump attending Iowa at Iowa State. Boy, that's a tough game to go to if you're Trump. You've sat through one quarter of Iowa, Iowa State. We got to stop this rivalry. It's just so bad on the eyes. Iowa, Iowa State, has the has it ever gone over? I mean, what's the over-under this week? 39, 40 points for this game. Iowa is sitting minus four there. And then we do have, so I thought this was a unique thing to look at. You can see the distribution of votes of the AP poll and kind of the contrast uh, between the different voters. Someone voted Michigan at number six. I, I mean, I guess, I, you know, I don't know. Someone voted Florida State at number nine. You got to have Florida State higher than nine at this point. So someone voted Ohio State at number 11. I, you know, I guess because of the quarterback situation. Someone voted Washington at four. I mean, that's respectable. Uh, but of course, the best ones, it's got to be Duke and Colorado. People voting Duke and Colorado both inside of the top 10. You know, just for probably attention, honestly, someone voting Notre Dame at number five. I mean, that's a bit steep for me. I, I guess it's not horrible. A few people unranking LSU for losing to Florida State. I would still have LSU ranked, but Kansas State I would have a bit lower. I'm trying to find the most crazy vote on here. Maybe Texas at eight now. I mean, Texas at 18 is pretty low, but I would probably say Duke and Colorado both being inside the top 10 right there and then we do have some tv ratings lsu florida state 9 million where is the clemson monday night game at the clemson duke game maybe they don't have those ratings yet but i i would assume it would do at least 4 million you would think even with the spectrum situation that's a mess colorado tcu the big noon crap 7.2 million ohio state indiana the cbs debut Penn State, West Virginia. Wow, Penn State, West Virginia at 7.30 does worse than Ohio State, Indiana at 3.30. I wonder if 3.30 is going to be a better window for the Big Ten than 7.30. I mean, you would have to think 3.30 is going to be a better window than noon for the Big Ten just because you get more eyeballs on it. The West Coast at you know 9 a.m., they're not going to be wanting to watch college football. Nebraska, Minnesota, that's because it was a Thursday night game. North Carolina, South Carolina, that game kind of busted. That was like the big game of the weekend. It didn't even get top five in terms of ratings. Oregon State, San Jose State, that's pretty impressive, but it was a standalone game, so you can understand. Rice, Texas, yeah, that game was on Fox. It was like a four o'clock game on Fox, so it does over three million. Uh, a standalone game, Northwestern, Rutgers, I mean, who's torturing themselves watching that? And then Virginia, Tennessee, kind of a rough rated game. That, that was a really boring game, Virginia, Tennessee. That's a horrible neutral site. You know, the stadium sucks, Nissan Stadium, and it only does 2.4. That was the noon game on ABC. So that's probably a bit lower than they expected there. Uh, but those are just the overall ratings. But guys, the big story, Florida State planning a potential big-time renovation. This has been rumored for a few years now, but now they're saying, no, we want to add the roof possibly onto it, make it around $300 million. That seems uh, kind of cheap, $300 million to add an entire roof. That You have to wonder, you know, what is the roof going to look like? You, you don't want it to come out looking cheap. Uh, you can see also former Sun Life Stadium, now Hard Rock. I, I actually did a video on it yesterday about Miami football, and I saw a tweet about Miami, how they're doing a BOGO, buy one, get one free if you go to, or if you like buy a ticket to the Miami game. I think it's this week against A&M. You get a free ticket to the Georgia Tech game. That's a brutal, I mean, that just goes to show you Miami really struggling to sell those tickets, especially for Georgia Tech, that game on October 7th. But uh, Hard Rock Stadium is another stadium that has added an awning. So there are a lot of stadiums in Florida that are adding some of these roof structures, trying to block out the sun and keep the fans in the shade 
while also giving the open air environment, I would be very surprised if they, well, they can't do a retractable roof. You, you, there's no way you can have a retractable roof on the stadium and it'll only be $300 million, especially because they're also wanting to do other things, remove a bunch of seats on the one end zone and replace them with kind of better seating. So we will see what happens to Doit Campbell Stadium. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.